one of the many reasons why we wanted to have this conversation about the need to vote and why it's important to look all the way down the ballot every single election, right? Sometimes we go, we know it's going to be one or the other, but a lot of times it is loaded and it's important to do your homework, right? right. Yes. It is. Cole, I want to start with you because that was part of the messaging in your get your booty to the polls message for you and your, your fellow dancers. Yes. So, we want everybody to know that it's not just about the president. You vote for the DA, the judge, you vote for different taxes, whether or not public transportation is going to expand in your area. Mm -hmm. There's so many different things that are on the ballot that often aren't talked about before you go to the polls. Right. So that's why it's important to go to every election and make sure that you are voting every single time on every single issue on the ballot because yeah. it affects you more than you think. Professor Fred, do you have a sense of um, how many of the students you interact with are registered and talking about, I, I'm excited to be about this, but it, be in this process? Yeah, so what we know, at least in the AU Center and over at Georgia State, is that there are polling stations on campuses. Hmm. And so students have a short walk in many cases to get there. Uh, but again, the, the quintessential comment is, it doesn't matter. And for people to be so young at a college, making them see that it matters, particularly locally, mm -hmm. where most of them are from out of town, at least in the AUC, and having it be like 500 feet from the ground. Mm -hmm. Conversations about student loan uh, rates or interest rates, conversations about the local officials who govern where, how late clubs or places they go stay open right the, public, the, the policies sure the policies that are affecting them unknowingly and, and so, it's important to point out too we, we don't want to like just narrow in on the younger generation there are some older voters who have you know participated in, the, in a democracy yeah. and said you know what i'm checking out of it because they're frustrated yeah. as well your thoughts uh in terms of trying to make sure that this is something that this is not just in a, a hot, hotly contested election season, but every year. Um, I think it's really people want to be heard. People right now, they don't they don't feel they're hurt. They uh -huh. don't feel like even speaking to the older generation, they say, look, I've been doing the same thing since I was 18, 20. And speaking to Ms. Green, how she said, hey, I first voted when I was 25, but she served this country. Uh -huh. They said, hey, we're going to put you in the front line, but you can't vote right. until you're 25. And it's but her endurance, her you her having to eagerness and willingness to say, hey, I'm going to vote and I'm going to wear my certificate proud and I'm going to wear I'm going to wear it proud. But we don't see that. And not a lot of people have that same spirit that she has. And the older generation, we pass it on to the younger generation and it gets passed on and passed down. And now I'm 29 and the generation coming after me, I can say the same thing. Oh, hey, it doesn't matter. Right. Now I'm passing that down to the next generation and generation after me. So if we don't break the cycle now and say, hey, your vote is important, but you can't have the microwave instinct, it's going to happen, but you have to give it time. Right. And it might take a few elections. It might take yes. a few candidates. Right. It might right. take some trial and error. Right. Uh, Mama Loretta, <laughs> Madam Green, I'm going to give you the final word on what you want people to know based on your experience and what this means for you. Well, it, it means that we need to be involved. I think that's the main problem. We get complacent. And like some of my panelists has already said, we get complacent. We don't want to go to the poll. We think, well, it's not going to affect me, but it does affect you. And I said, I always go back to the sacrifices that was made for you to have this opportunity. Mm -hmm. if, if the fact sacrifices have not been made, you would not have the opportunity you have now to vote. And things would be happening that you have no control right. over. Right. And not, you can't complain and about you can't it complain if you didn't try to do if something. If you didn't try. And it. right now, you have the opportunity to have to vote, like I said, especially local elections. Local elections is just as important because they affect you your taxes, everything Every you day. do and everything. And makes decisions are being made for you.
So you need to ha participate so those you would have a Just voice like in you. those decisions. Every election, every single time. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you so much for being a part of this conversation about why we vote and why we'll continue to. Thank you so much. Hey, All thank right, you. Yes, indeed. We'll be right back.